Okay, so we're gonna do the whole like clean girl hair and makeup look today. If you're not sure what that is, um, you obviously don't have TikTok. But it's that like slicked back bun and that real minimal glowy makeup. So I've been wearing it a bit recently and it's addictive, just FYI. So good for like dirty three day hair. And you just slick it back and you don't have to wash it, saves you time and makes you look like you have your shit together. Before I move on to the makeup, Obviously I prepped my skin, so important for this look. I'm gonna leave a list of the products that I used for my like morning skincare routine down below in the description box along with everything else I'm using today. And I do have a discount code for Look Fantastic and Farrah Fetch because I worked with both of them recently. This is not sponsored, nothing is sponsored, but I'm gonna share the discount codes and if they still work, then great. Not sure how long the codes are valid for, so um, yeah. Sorry if they're not valid anymore. Okay, so now that I have my hair like slicked off my face, the first product I'm gonna use, which is no surprise to anyone, is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I use this in shade four and it just matches perfectly. I also have fake tan on my face, by the way. I use the Saint Tropez Purity um, Mist Spray. You can use this as foundation by itself if you can find a shade that matches up um, with your skin. And I just use a brush to blend this in. Um, next we're going to move on to concealer and I'm going to use the MAC Studio Fix Concealer in shade NC20 and with this look people use such a small amount of concealer but I am a concealer girl and I like a lot so I'm going to apply as much as I want. Basically just use this as like inspiration or as guidelines and then do as you please. I always, always, always have to do like sides of my nose because they're just red and then because I've lovely Irish skin so I need to get rid of the discoloration on my eyelids. And then you're using a beauty sponge to blend all of that in. This is just the Huda Beauty one because Hank ate my beauty blender. Okay next we're obviously going to set that. I'm using the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. I'm pretty sure um, most people don't use a lot of powder with this. I'm going to just apply it under my eyes to stop creasing and my eyelids. Powder basically gives like an airbrush effect to the skin so if you want it to kind of like diffuse texture and stuff it's so good um especially like here with open pores and stuff like that the lighting guys i'm so sorry okay so next with bronzer i'm going to use the mac mineralized skin finish in um dark and apply it in the high points where the sun would naturally hit obviously this is like that real kind of bronzed glowy look so bronzer is like a big part of this i like to do it across my nose especially in summer it gives that kind of sun kissed look and then underneath here if you've never tried this bronzer honestly honestly pick it up it's like my only bronzer i really go to um, and i have a few in there but this is like my number one and has been since i first used it like how many years ago 10 years ago and then i find this step so important i basically clean up um my bronzer you can see it there so from like the top of my ear to the corner of my mouth just with whatever's left on um my sponge for blush i'm going to use the refi cream blush in the shade rose this works so well um oh jesus my first time using it with this sponge this works so well on top of um powder which sometimes some cream products don't this one is honestly so good and i put it on my nose as well to kind of like tie it all into that like sun-kissed fresh look okay so for highlighter i'm going to use the laura mercier addiction literally my addiction i use it all the time for highlighter and i'm applying that on top of the cream blush that i just applied so you can see it will like catch onto it then i just dust it across the center of my forehead then dip back in for here. So both my eyebrow in this kind of C area. Whatever left my brush, put it down my nose. Next I'm going to use clear brow gel. Any clear brow gel will work. This is the Charlotte Tilbury one. And you're brushing kind of like up and out. Okay, so for my eyes I'm going to use a cream product. This is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, cream eyeshadow in the shade Flawless Beige. And I'm just going to really lightly apply that all over my lids. I like tapped into the product. Just because we want like a small bit of like hint of colour on our lids. We don't want it to be like too intense. These have like a matte finish on them as well. But they just last so long. And they're so much easier um, to use than powder eyeshadows for a lot of people. And then I bring whatever's left under my eyes like this. And then to kind of set that and add a bit more colour. I'm using the same bronzer as earlier. Just with a really fluffy brush. Literally tapping into it. And just setting that cream shadow and adding a bit more warmth onto the eye. Um, and it will kind of like tie in the whole look because obviously it's the bronzer that we used on the rest of our face. For my brows, I just filled them in off camera there to save battery because I just had to change out my battery. Um, but I just used the Benefit Precisely My Brow in shade 3.5. So good. Just fill in your brows however you like them. Like I said, this is like as personal as you are. So if there's anything specifically that you like to do with your makeup, just do it. So next I'm going to use a brown um, pencil. Just 
in my upper waterline to kind of add a bit more um, depth. And then this step is optional. I'm just going to take like a medium kind of brown matte eyeshadow and just literally push it along my lash line here just because I have fair lashes. So I feel like this kind of stops any like light lash colour um, between the mascara and the eyeshadow. This also makes your lashes look a bit more defined and kind of thicker as well. Okay, next, eyelash curler. Do not skip this step. And this is where I'm always in between. Do I use my MAC or my Charlotte Tilbury? This is a bit more intense, but it does transfer a bit more than this. This does not transfer. If you're looking for mascara that doesn't, this doesn't smudge, doesn't like hit up here. This does, but it makes your eyelashes look insane. I'm gonna go with the Charlotte Tilbury for today because my MAC one is basically empty. Okay, so that is my mascara done. Um, this eyelash has a lot of gaps in it at the moment. It's really just taking the piss out of me, so we're gonna ignore that because it's so annoying. I need to get an eyelash serum. Um, but moving on to lips, Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. I'm pretty sure like most supermodels at Nick Girls, this is the one that they all say that they use. Um, and I'm gonna overdraw my lips, obviously. And when you overdraw them, if you want it to make it, if you want to make it look more realistic, you're overdrawing in the center here and the center here, and then connecting it with your natural lip line at the side. And I got that tip from Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. So if anyone knows, he knows. Do you know? And then something I've been doing recently with my lips is just using um, an eyeshadow brush. This is clean, as in like I only ever use it on my lips, so it doesn't have any eyeshadow on it. I'm gonna like soften all that um, lip liner, because sometimes this one is quite thick and kind of like build up on the lips and then for lipstick my all-time favorite honey love from mac and i cannot believe i have not sprayed my face once throughout this because i constantly spray my face when i'm doing my makeup but i'm using the charlotte tilbury setting spray if you're using a lot of cream products especially this setting spray is so good because the cream products don't tend to last as long on the skin they kind of move around and like come off a lot easier than powder products and this setting spray basically like glues your makeup to your face so if you're using a lot of cream products definitely definitely um pick this up so good for summer as well when your makeup likes to just melt off your face or if you have like a wedding or anything like that honestly just keeps your makeup on your face all day okay so moving on to hair i just brushed through my hair um this is like day three i'm pretty sure or else day four um and then i got this little tail comb and just did a little center part i feel like now it's not centered anymore so give me two minutes while I obsess over this. To add a little bit of nourishment to my hair I'm going to use the Olaplex serum, I haven't tried this yet, mixed with the Olaplex oil and I'm actually just going to apply like loads of this because it's all getting scraped back anyway. Oh didn't expect it to be clear. Apply it all here, all the damaged broken bits. You can just use hair oil or any leave-in conditioner um, that you have. And then applying some oil. You can go like right up to the roots with these because obviously it doesn't matter, it's all getting slicked back. I actually applied so much hair oil last night because I knew I was going to do this. So to add like a bit more nourishment into my hair. Okay, next moving on to the main thing. We're going to use a matte pomade. This is actually just Tom's. He's away at the moment, so I took it out of his little toiletry bag. And I think it's like a fiver or something in boots. I don't have the way matte pomade. It's on my list. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing, just the way one probably has more like you know nice ingredients for like women's hair and stuff like that but you're gonna apply some on your fingers and basically apply it all here because this is where i get my flyaways if you have he healthy hair you probably don't have flyaways so you could probably just get away with hair oil i can't but if you're looking for that really like slick back look and wondering how they all do it it's a, a matte pomade like this next you're gonna want to use a brush like this one here that has like the kind of mixed bristles because that gets it really like close to the scalp like so and you're basically keeping the middle split in your hair um, and just brushing the hair back. And don't forget underneath, I did apply some of the like pomade underneath. So instead of like, see here, it's kind of going down. I'm gonna like scoop it and lift it up while keeping the middle split. And like this little bit pops up in the middle. I'm just gonna brush that down. Okay, I feel like that was too quick. Usually it takes me like 20 fucking minutes to get it. That actually worked today, so I'm just gonna tie that. Don't know what's going on oh fuck i just messed it up okay we're gonna tie that in i don't really concentrate on getting it too perfect because i never do but i use one bobbin to tie it in place like this and then i'll usually go in with a bit more of the pomade after my hair is up just to really like lay down <laughs> my hairline i brush it after sometimes you're probably not meant to probably fucks it up but listen 
I'm not a professional hairstylist, this just works for me. And then I take another little bobbin like this and then I'll start to twist like so and twist it around in a bun and then I just leave this little bit out at the end. Um, I just think it looks better that way and I don't know why. This is actually not really the best style for your hair because any tight hairstyles like this can give you like traction alopecia and all that so just be careful not to do it all the time. I do have like a little bump there. I'm just going to leave it though. Where am I? And then any little piece that I see is like sticking up or like a bit mental looking. I'm just going to bobby pin that little bit down because I'm not doing that whole thing again. Okay. And then this is a little finished look. Some days it works out better than others. Today, of course, it's not the best. I feel like I need to hold this up so you can see. And that is basically how I do it. I don't even know if it suits me that well. I just like to do it because it's just so handy, I swear. Um, and it's just like my go-to now on days like a Sunday, you know, when your hair is hanging on for dear life. And yeah, like I said, I'm gonna link all of the products that I use down below in the description box, so make sure you check that out. Um, and also my two discount codes for Look Fantastic and Farfetch because a lot of the products are on those two websites so you should be able to get a discount code if they're still um working and live and that is it for me i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below what you'd like me to film next i'm going to film an empties video as well and then i was thinking like a hair health video because if you follow me on instagram you know how bad my hair was two years ago like i had a mullet of breakage but that's it for me and i'll see you in my next one bye i also meant to say if you have any tips for this like hair or makeup look leave a comment down below let me know because this is just how I do it. I don't even know if it's like the best way or the easiest way or the most efficient way. So if you have any tips, share.